Jacob Hornberger is one of those libertarians who thinks that uh, open borders is just follows clearly from libertarian principles and to oppose them is to be against liberty, basically. And he doesn't really have any questions about this. And he wrote a piece called Open Borders Are Compatible with the Welfare State on July 31st. I wasn't very impressed. Uh, he starts, you know, saying, For some time now, there has been a conservative faction within the libertarian movement that has advocated that libertarians abandon their position in favor of orbit, open borders and instead join up with conservatives and progressives in support of government-controlled borders. Now, what's interesting about this first is that it relegates any open border skeptic or free migration skeptic as a conservative. Why not, since it is a progressive position until very recently to have control? Progressives are basically the one who gave us controlled borders in America. Is that true? Pretty much. It was the progressive movement. I mean, the, 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 on what grounds? Well, I mean, it started, the whole thing started out with. Uh, with the, the the China Exclusion Act, but that was was kind of pre progressive. But it was it was the same po- kind of movement, populist movement against that kind of stuff. And it was the progressives who gave us the big immigration act. But, but upon Central. what idea was that pushed? What what what? Well, just, how you did know, they justify that? Well, how, how, they were hygiene people, eugenics people, and uh, and uh, they, wanted, so they wanted they they were the racial purist. Well, sure, the that's what that's what progressives were. Yeah. And so they're the ones who really, really went well, on with the, the idea that it was scientific, that it was, this is oh, what sure. you're talking about. Yeah, scientific. yeah. And, they, and you, can, you can't control a population that's uncontrolled. And they definitely want to control a population. So it's interesting it's that... It's the technocrats' mindset. Yeah, yeah. And it's interesting that Bumper immediately refers to uh, anyone who's an open border skeptic uh, as a conservative rather than as a progressive. They could be equally. Arguably, the progressives today aren't progressive at all. They're actually uh, chaoticians. They're advocating chaos because they want, you know, was it the Piven-Cloward strategy or the Cloward-Piven strategy? You talk about the shock? shock. The idea of making things worse so that we can get more programs that we want. Well, like the left, if they're acting so inexplicably, it's it's tempting to wonder if uh, if they're not consciously pursuing Klein's Klein's uh, idea. They they like her. I'm talking about Naomi Klein, who wrote the Shock Doctrine. They like her. I know that they were all passing around her videos when Trump was first elected. Purposeful chaos may be the only explanation for what looks like mass insanity. Yeah, but but once again, it, the Cloward Piven strategy was simple, was was. Most people don't aren't as explicit. Uh, you sort of feel your way around ideas. I, I don't really believe that they they are. You know, I believe there were Democratic leaders who advocated the Obama uh, well, Obamacare. Not, I, I don't even think they ha- it has to be explicit. I, but I think once you've imbibed it, once you've once you've read Naomi Klein and said, yeah. That I believe she's right. Then it's part of you. It's part of your system. Well, sure. It's the way you think. It's the way yeah. you approach the world. But it's really not any different from, like I said, the Cloward Piven strategy, which is a 1960s doctrine about increasing uh, welfare so that uh, to encourage people to go on welfare, so that they would have to increase the socialistic elements of, of the state. That this was is a, war socialism too, right? This is where. Uh, well, kind of, yeah. In, a, yeah. in a time of crisis, we can ramp up the state. Yes, yes. And then, when, right. when, then hold on to that ramped up. Uh, right. Okay. And it's also very similar to the uh, to, to the uh, uh, to the great idea of um, of false flag operations, as as the as the uh, CIA and the, the Joint Chiefs of Staffs uh, uh, in the Operation Northwoods. Uh-huh. I mean, that's what they were for too. Is that they wanted to create chaos to justify more government. So both the left and the right. Oh yeah, this is this is this is what statism <laughs> is. It's it's and it's really it's really anarcho tyranny. That's uh, you know the great concept by Sam Francis is that governments prefer to regulate peaceful people and let criminals run r- riot because that gives them an excuse to raise taxes and and make more laws, but they keep on moving to regulate peaceful people because they're easier to mark. They're way easier to control. It's it's way easier to control gun access for law-abiding people. Right, than it is to control criminals. You may Uh get killed if you do that. So all these strategies are very, very similar, and every movement for statism operates on them. And But the problem with... The problem and the reason I'm a, right now, a free migration skeptic is not because I don't like free migration. It's because we don't live in a context where free migration makes any sense, largely because of that kind of 
process of where we encourage um, we encourage the people coming into the country to uh, basically vote socialist. I mean, to want to be, you want to sap as much wealth as possible. It's how did in their you? Interest. How did you? They we're training them. To yeah, be, we're training them to be socialists. That's the thing. Is that, you, you know, say, come on in and live like a socialist. Well, don't we do that to children though? Isn't everybody? Well, that's a real problem. That's a real.